Okay. So we're out along the Delaware Bay. We're on a really beautiful remote beach here in New Jersey. And New Jersey's perfect because they close these Delaware Bay beaches from May 7th to June 7th to protect the horseshoe crabs and also the shorebirds that are coming in to gorge on protein-rich eggs that the crabs have. Here I have two male crabs. Um, males tend to come up when they're about five to seven years old. They start out really tiny, the size of your fingernail. Um, but these guys are fully mature. They're probably five or seven years old and they're coming up to spawn to lay eggs. Now, unfortunately, back in the 90s, we were decimating crab populations. We were overfishing them and using them for bait for eel and conch. We're still actually doing that, but here in the Delaware Bay, we have protections to not harvest crabs for the fishing industry. Eel and conch, by the way, are also plummeting in numbers. So those fisheries themselves are also not very healthy. Um, right now, here in the state of New Jersey, they can take male crabs up to I believe it's 150,000 um, a year after June 7th but females are protected. They are trying to loosen that protection. Um, they want to start taking female crabs. The reason they want females is because there are hormones and pheromones the female has so apparently the eel and conch prefer that but we are trying to keep that moratorium in place until the numbers get much higher. The crabs are still at historically low numbers and even though you might see a crab line and it looks like there's a lot of crabs on the beach, they still have not rebounded from us taking a lot of them in the 90s. So we need to do all we can to protect them. We're also working on the Delaware side of the Delaware Bay to try to get a moratorium in place because here in New Jersey, there are more protections. Legislators have done a lot more to protect the crabs because of New Jerseyans having an outcry. We need to do the same on the Delaware side. It's really imperative because the protein-rich eggs that these crabs lay along the beach right now are really vital to the red knot rufa, which is an endangered bird. The red knot rufa is on the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service threatened list. It took many years and a lot of science to get that bird listed. Um, but there are not more than 6,000 individuals left, according to the bird scientists. We're actually out here earlier today doing a catch. We tag the crabs, we also tag the birds. Um, to try to protect these populations. In addition to the red knot rufa, there are other birds that are also threatened um, because of low crab numbers. And those include the semi-palmated sanderlings, um, the sand pipers, and also the ruddy turnstones that are coming in as well. So if you're along the beach or the bay and you're enjoying the bay, particularly on the Delaware side that's open, just give the birds room. Try not to walk the beach. If you have dogs, keep the dogs on a leash. Um, every time you flush a bird, they could be eating an egg. Um, the red knot rufa has to gain up to six grams. If they don't gain that weight when they're here in a very short time, a week or two, they do not make it to their breeding grounds and they die. Um, and again, there's not many of these wonderful creatures left. So do what you can to protect the crabs and do what you can to protect the birds. Give them the room they need while they're here, you know, May into June. By July, they're gonna be gone. Then you can enjoy the beach. Thank you.